quite brave but not every young girl can take a step and go to fight for her rights and in general all Kurdish people's rights. Justice for Shilan! Justice for Kurds! We're here to support Shilan as Chile. Um, we're at her pre-trial today to support her as a young girl. She's on trial for terrorism um, because she tried to join the YPG. She's one of the very many inspirational fighters who well, hope, well, she was trying to get into the YPG to go fight against them because there, I don't believe there's enough support out there against the ISIS and the YPG is one of the very few who are actually on the ground attacking them. YPG is the People's Defence Unit and YPJ is the Women's Defence Unit in um, Rojava and they have been very, very inspirational for the Kurdish people. They've been able to defeat the ISIS when international communities and countries and states were saying it is very difficult to actually um, fight against ISIS or to defeat and scrap the ISIS. Um, so they, they became a very kind of a, a hope for the Kurdish people in Rojava when the whole international world were saying it is difficult to defeat the ISIS. But in fact, we saw that that's not the case. She's gone to ISIS and fight for us and now she's back and arrested and we don't think that what she's done is so wrong because at the end of the day what ISIS has done is worse and as a young girl at such a young age she took the step and actually went for it and now back in London she's been arrested. We are BKK! as a kind of um, uh, an organisation that practices me medieval um, traditions. Um, so clearly nobody wants that. Clearly neither ourselves or the UK or the European countries would want that. And um, the values that ISIS carries is inhuman. Um, so um, ending somebody's life or ending a group of, uh, a group of people's lives is uh, clearly unacceptable, it's inhuman, it's insane and um, everybody um, should be able to live with their cultural values, with their, um, with their religious values. Everybody should be able to kind of express that. Everybody should be able to express what they believe in and what they don't believe in. So um, the, the independence women's movement in, in Kurdistan actually started off um, in the 1980s, at the end of the 1980s, where um, Kurdish women were able to form their own, own independent organisation. They were able to um, uh, manage themselves, organise themselves and decide for themselves. So um, the women's movement actually changed the whole notion, the whole idea of um, women's rights. Um, they said, well, we, we're not given our rights, we take our rights and we decide for ourselves. So it's a whole different idea um, uh, of women's um, freedom and women's independence and um, looking at um, how it is actually seen in, in European countries and as well as the UK. So she is 18 and she is a young woman and she's off fighting against ISIS which many people cannot do as they're not as brave as, brave as Chilean and I think what she's doing is just so inspirational and that we all look up to her as young girls. We all definitely look up to Shilan because what she's done is just amazing. As a young girl at the age of 17, she actually went and she turned 18 and that's when she actually got arrested. So she's basically given her life up to support us and to fight for us.